so I'll take the Clinique Pep Start. And yeah. Okay, now after that, I go on with the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. So, so Once again, I just use my hands. Usually, uh, I go in with Tarte Shapety first, but I notice that with this foundation that I use, if I put this on after, it just doesn't look right over the foundation, so I put on the Tarte Shape Tape first, and then I do foundation, so... To blend this in, I, I use my fingers under my eye, and then sometimes I'll use a brush around the rest of my face, because I use my concealer brush for highlighter, so, you know. This is just a, a, an elf brush, a blending brush. I do have a beauty blender, but it honestly doesn't work that good for me because it's just a cheap one. And in my opinion, I can't find it, but in my opinion, it sucks up all my products, so I don't really use it. I can't even use it if I wanted to. I take my concealer up on top of my eyelid too to like set a base for eyeshadow. Okay, after that, I take my Fit Me Maybelline foundation and I use the um, oily, the normal to oily because I have oily skin. So, I take that and I actually do put this on with a brush. I just put it on the brush first, usually. So. Okay, and a lot of people are going to cringe, but after I do that, because this brush isn't that good, I just take my hands and like smooth out the foundation. After, I apply it with a brush. So. Okay, and then after that, I do take, I have the Maybelline Fit Me, um, powder to match the foundation and I just take it and put this all over my face.
And yes, I love, I don't tap. Okay. Next, I do actually bake my face sometimes with this e.l.f. Um, perfect, perfect Finish HD Powder. I only use it when I don't plan on taking pictures, so. Because it has like really bad flashback and it just looks really patchy. So with the sponge that it comes with, I just take that and put it in the normal spots that you'll bake in. Okay, so next I will start my eyeshadow and I think today I'm going to go for like a red, like bronzy kind of look. So taking my Morphe 350 palette, it's kind of beaten up, I've had it for a while. So going in with... Just another, or actually this is a wet and wild brush, it's just kind of like a fluffy brush. I go in with this color in the top left corner. And I just put this all over my highlight. Oh my god, but I use my fingers, <laughs> which kind of cringe but it's what works best for me and I don't have a whole bunch of like the fancy brushes so going in with I personally start with like the darkest colors and work to my lightest colors instead of like lightest colors to like darkest colors it's just it looks better to me so going into the Morphe palette I take this brown color right at the bottom I hope they can see that I just get it on my pointer finger like that and I just start by putting it in the corner of my eye and I just blend it out of my finger in my eye and you still have to wipe your makeup off. Just do that to the other eye. And I do both my eyes at the same time, in like the same order. I don't just do one eye and then do the other. I just prefer to do it this way. And then I'll take the brush I used for the white shadow and I'll just take that in and blend it a little bit around with the white eyeshadow. Like that. Next, I will take this, like, this, I'm going to take this dark orange color and kind of lay it out like a transition shade before I put on the main, like, lid shade. So, just take that, tap it. Give in the crease and, like, towards, like, the front half of your eye and just kind of put that on and because that kind of like washed out a lot of the dark brown I'll go back in with the dark brown and just add a little bit more dimension to the corner and that's what we have so far before I add on the glitter, I or the last eyeshadow, I'm going to wipe the bake off along with the fallout of the darker eyeshadow. Just like that. And you can see it's still brightened up my under eye even though I didn't put it over the concealer exactly. So next I'm going to take this dark red glitter metallic shade in the Morphe 350 palette. 
that one right there. And now actually I'm just going to take it with my finger. And I'm going to lay this out through like the top portion that I kind of left like open. Okay, now with the top lid done, I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush again and wipe off the fallout of that eyeshadow because even though I use my finger, I still get some fallout. So, <clears throat> before I do the rest of my face and my eyebrows, I go in with this Morphe brush. I can't tell you the exact brush. I kind of just got it in like a little set, but it looks like this. And I just go in with <clears throat> the dark brown that I started with and tap off the excess. <laughs> And I just take that right in from the corner underneath onto the bottom of my eye and just like put that all over there pretty much. So blend it. Let's blend it in. And I'll kind of have to blend up again into the top lid. To make it look like good. And next I will take on this smaller brush that came in the same kit. I take the orange shade that I used on the top lid and do the same thing but take it a little farther. Okay, <clears throat> I look super crazy right now, but after that, I will take the same brush, just kind of tap off that orange shade, and dip into the red metallic shade that I had put up on my top lid. I hardly tap that one off because you want it to be very pigmented. No color is white! And I don't bring my eyeshadow all the way into the corner of my eye because I am going to put a highlighting color there. So next, I'm going to take my eyeliner and I use the, the Man Eater Eyeliner by Tarte. It's like double duty booty and it looks like this in the package. And then you take it out and it's just like in a stick. Looks like that. And this eyeliner is actually really good. Like, you can, like, I've slept in it and it's lasted till the next day. And it's like, this is what the top looks like. So you can be very controlled with it. So, the way I do my eyeliner is I draw, like, this, you're gonna draw, like, your line here first. And then start in the corner and draw that line and then fill it in. And there you go. So that's what the eyeliner looks like. This one's a little thicker, but it's okay. I don't mind having my eyeliner uneven. It doesn't really matter to me because I'm not really going anywhere after this video. And next, I do my eyebrows. And for my eyebrows, I actually use this really tiny angled brush. I honestly don't even know where I got it from, but I go back into the Morphe palette and I mix, I mix the shade this one and then sometimes I mix the dark brown that I used on my lid for it and I just start by lining the top of them make it 
and then I do line the bottom of them. And then I don't really like emphasize the tail of my eyebrows. I just kind of draw like a single line most of the time. I just kind of fill in what I have. And then I take it and I like Hold put the, the brush like this and yeah. mark the front of my eyebrow like that. And I draw under it. And I just kind of get her glow. One second. Okay, sorry. And then I just, this is really hard to explain, but I just kind of. Okay, and then I take my fingers, I love using my fingers, and I just kind of like push and brush, like push it back on my eyebrows. So like I can pick up any extra eyeshadow that I need to. And here we go. That's my eyebrows. I did them a little darker than normal because my hair is grown out and I have more of a dramatic eye look right now. So then, I will take my mascara, and I kind of already have mascara on for my makeup the other night because I accidentally brought waterproof mascara, and I don't have the makeup remover to take it off. So, I use the Big Colossal Big Shot by Maybelline, and I just put it on. I think there's no certain way or special way I put mascara on, but... You just coat your eyelashes, and my eyelashes do look a little like spider webby because I do have mascara on from last night, but I did not get off all the way. But I guess you know it works for sure, waterproof, because I slept on it, my eyes water, I rubbed it, it does not move, girl. That ugly face that everyone dreads making on camera. Mascara. Okay. We're almost done. So next I take... I do a lot of highlighter. I love highlighter. But for today, I'm just going to kind of like dye it down. And well... Before highlighter, I do bronze my face sometimes. I don't have like a specific bronzer, but I have this. It just came in a makeup case that I had bought from Ulta. So <laughs> this is what I use. And I take this big poofy brush by Becca. And I just kind of dip it in the two. Because one is shimmer. And then I like tap it. And I just bronze my face up. As much as one can. Oh, that was a lot. Okay. Oh wait, that was a lot. And I mean this it is a very good bronzer, but I do think it looks a little orange most of the time, which is why I don't wear it a lot. But it does look good in pictures. I I do my forehead even though I don't really need to bronze up my forehead because I do have a small forehead. Um so there's that. Not looking so pale anymore. And then taking the same compact of highlights and stuff, I take this brush by Morphe also. It's supposed to be a concealer brush, but I do use it for my highlighter. And I go in with this white shade and just kind of drag my brush across it and apply to my cheekbones. I don't have very good lighting in here, but that's okay. And then I just take my pinky finger and I put it on the tip of my nose. It's very bright. I'm 
kind of messy with my highlighter. I don't really 